Stop touching me! Dab me up! Dab me up! There we go. Gosh, this guy is just a pest. Patrick Beverly, that's why he's a Clippers fan. Okay, we're gonna start off with Magic Johnson. Okay, uh, uh, he was the president of basketball operations mm -hmm. for the only team in LA. Uh, wow! What? We're taking shots at the, the eighth seed in the, the playoff only team. team in LA. And dude, I mean, this just came out of nowhere, honestly. Like, mm -hmm. he didn't tell anybody. He didn't tell Jeannie Buss, his boss. He just like came out publicly and just, you know, resigned. Yeah. And you know, I was, I mean, probably if that's any other, uh, if that's any other president of basketball operations in the league, it's not making near as much news. But I mean, it's Magic Johnson. Yeah. One of the most iconic. And the and the Lakers. And it's the Lakers too. The most one of the most iconic, you know, sport players and one of the most iconic franchises in NBA history. So. Of course, it's gonna make news. Mm -hmm. Connor, what do you think about this? Because I mean, I think LeBron's gonna be the basketball president. Of basketball. Basketball. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that. I was thinking As that. a player, you know, <laughs> I, I mean, like Stephen A. was saying, um, does you think he's maybe scared he wasn't gonna get another player to uh, go with LeBron? I think so. Mm -hmm. I think because so. Also, like they say, dude has a lot of other stuff going on too. And yeah. I mean, that job takes a lot of you know. You have, you have to spend your time. Mm -hmm. You have to be yeah. really dedicated to do that. And they said he wasn't even in the office that much. And yeah. his, his time was limited. So maybe he thought it was the best for the franchise, or maybe he was just you know nervous that he wasn't going to get mm -hmm. another star player. What do you see them doing with Luke Walton? I think Luke Walton's going to go. I think Luke Walton. He's gone. Go. I think he's got to go. Yeah. They go get Ty Lue. I think you got to get a fresh start. I mean, mm -hmm. you got to get a fresh face. You got you brought LeBron in. I think it's always good when you get a a new. Uh, maybe like in a case like Zion, maybe if the team was bad, or you get a star player like LeBron, bring in a fresh face with that fresh player, and that, I mean that changes the atmosphere completely. Mm -hmm. Rather, than yeah, true. Mean, other than that, I mean, because they said they're going to get the whole entire coaching staff out of there. So, that's I mean, that's gotta go, move. I guess. I mean, that's hey, man. Oh, uh, but see, Wade. Oh man, <sighs> Dwayne Wade. Dirt. We're watching his highlights, like as we as we're doing our show. We got some highlights on right here. Mm -hmm. um, Dwayne Wade in his last game. Brian, what do you think about D-Wade and Dirk, man? Um, it's a sad end to two truly legendary careers. Um, they both went out in only their styles. You know, D-Wade had uh, 25, 10, and 11. Triple-double. Uh, oh. Triple-double oh. in his last game. Look at Haslam out there. Okay. I didn't know Haslam was <laughs> even playing anymore. Yeah. I thought he was gone. <laughs> yeah, he's still in the league. I think that's uh, his last game, too, but um, he, didn't, he didn't get the... He didn't Dirk get had the a double-double double as well. Just... Yep. It sucks to see him go because we grew up watching them and Facts. they're gone. And yeah, it's just a shame to see him go. Who mm. had the better career, Dirk or D Wade? D Wade. Right? Okay, don't say it like it's that easy. You thought uh, about D it. I was thinking it was about it. It's D Wade. Tough decision. Brian's it's D still, Wade. Brian's still pondering on it. I've been pondering this for like three days. I'm going to give the slightest of edges to D Wade. To D -Wade. That's right. The slightest of edges. Like this much. This much of an edge. D-Wade. D-Wade, exactly. D-Wade, 16. My fingers are touching. That's how close of an edge it is. Dirk, 17. I'm going to go with D-Wade. Okay. Ah, boy. By ah, less boy. than even what you said. Um, it's impossible. My fingers are like, <laughs> touching. Look at my fingers. By that much. Okay. I'm, I'm saying by like that much. By that like, even much. Even more. Even more. Ooh. Even less. Ooh, okay, okay. Now, nah, D-Wade by this much. Dirk, Dirk had a double-double in his last game. I know. He had like 21 in he 11. He dunked. Mm -hmm. He dunked. So did mm -hmm. D-Wade. The big old. They're balling. Is Dirk one of the best? I'd say is Dirk top three foreign player all oh, time. Oh, he's top one. He's probably number one. He's the best. He's the best. Off the top of my head, he's the best foreign player of all time. The only others I can think of are Ginobili, Gasol, Gasol. Who'd you say? All right, calm down. Uh, no, whoa, calm down God, Paige Stoyakovich was good, but come no. on now, on Dirk's no. level, stop it. Wait, no. just stop that. Is a king foreign? No. I think he was in a. I mean, he was, he played for Team USA. Yao Ming. Can't forget Giannis. Giannis is foreign, right? Giannis is Greek. Giannis is foreign. So Kyrie Giannis, is foreign. Will, Giannis will pop. Kyrie's foreign. Uh, Giannis will uh, pass. Luca, Dirk. maybe. Right. Luca might get up there. He Jamal probably Crawford. will get up the there. The Benjamin Button of the NBA. Jamal Crawford <laughs> had 50 <laughs> points also. This is all like in one day, too. Like yep. yeah. Everything we're talking about happened on the same day. It happened within like what? Four or five hours yeah. of each other, yeah. too. Magic was the first uh, news of the day. And look at Jamal Crawford. In the same game, uh, that was Dirk's last home game. I mean, he's... Oh, this man. He's hitting guys with... Oh, my goodness, good. Hey, mm. mate. You can't I tell mean, he's 39. Dude. He does look like he's 24. Look at him. And the way he's built, too. He's just built. He like, looks like he could just keep going. He, he looks just, like... That's crazy. 
Mm-hmm. Is, he the, is he the best six man of all time? Yes. Yeah. For uh, now. For now, unless Lou, you know, keeps going crazy. But you guys aren't even going to make the playoffs next year, so. Oh, my. We're getting Kawhi, Jimmy Butler, DeMarcus Cousins. You don't have that much <laughs> money. Can't just be. We might we might draft Zion. You don't know. You don't know what Jerry West your, is going to do. Your luxury tax is going to be a hundred million dollars. <laughs> oh my! Uh, what's the last thing on here before we go to break? Touch on the KU NBA draft departures. No. Oof. I mean, it's not like none of these guys. None of these guys are going to be lottery picks. I mean, it's just kind of like. A, yeah. I'm surprised Yudoka hasn't made his decision yet. Yeah, me either. I mean, I figured he would have made it. Could decision. he go to the? Combine and then come back? Yeah, you can go to the Combine yeah, and come back. Yeah. They we'll made probably, it we'll now, too, where you can hire agents, but it has to be specified by the NCA that if you hire one of those agents, that you can still come back and you won't use up your eligibility. But if they're not on that list, your eligibility is gone like that. Dang, if, if you guys lose Doke. <sighs> wow, man. I don't know. State it, is going to be the best you, team you know, in you Kansas. Know. You know. Let's go. Hey, we, we did lose two players, though. Ricky Torres and Roderick Brown. So be it. Bye bye. Come on. Right. Er, what? There you go. Just, hey, just move on. Right. We're moving on. Eight point nine from three. No way. <laughs> I can I can shoot better than that. All right. Uh, no, you, have no, <laughs> you want me to pull my stats? No jumper. You want me to pull my stats? You have no I'll, jumper. I'm, okay. Well, he's pulling up his stats. We're gonna go to break. Don't go anywhere. We're we're gonna talk about what are we talking about? How the Nuggets are contenders? No, the they're not. We'll be right back to talk about the NBA playoffs tomorrow. Don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm local family man, entrepreneur, FBI agent, cartel leader, lizard person, amateur equestrian, and billionaire, John Partridge. And you should watch fake news. Look at this, right here. You're ridiculous, Kobe. 23% from three. Hey, give me that. 23% from three. Hey, give hey look that. at that. 31, 31%. 23% oh. hey. from three. Hey, 62% from hey, two. Hey, dial it from deep. Get the uh, goggles going. <laughs> maybe get, ma 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 maybe, maybe just way. come in with this and then. Whoo! Whoo! I'm the Swire of the Swish. Huh? I'm the Swire of the Swish. You're the what? Swire of the Swish. You said the Swire of the Swish. The Swire of the Swish. The Swire of the Looking for a reliable and trustworthy auto repair shop? Head over to Redline Auto Repair, locally owned family business in the Rose Hill area since 2004. Their experienced workers and modest prices have earned them a reputable status among the people of Rose Hill. Their services vary from oil leaks, AC repair, as well as engine and transmission replacement. If you are in need of an auto repair, make your way to 112 North Rose Hill Road for the best automotive repair available. AJ Taylor, reporter, Channel 7 News. Welcome back to Are You Serious? Now we're going to give our NBA playoff predictions. You know, first round matchup Golden State and the Clippers. What? I'm talking about, I don't know, you know what I just had a flashback of? It was off topic. When Connor did his first ever intro. We got some topics here. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> okay, Clippers win one game. Okay, Golden me, State. me and Connor have a $10 bet. Yep. Okay, hopefully the NCAA doesn't come after me for, oh, for, ooh, for betting. Oh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. We'll be fine. <laughs> okay, uh, this is on the end. We bet $10 <laughs> that the Clippers. He says the Clippers are going to win a game against the One Warriors. game. They're not going to win a game. One game. You got, that's like, that's ridiculous, dude. One game. Game three. Stop it. Game three. Game three? Hey, you give me you give me five extra dollars if it's on game three? Yes. I'm not giving you. Come on. Okay, give me those five extra dollars on game you three, babe. Let's go. Win game three. I don't got enough money to do this, but okay. Oh, my gosh. Good heavens. <laughs> um, Goat college. So, yeah. who did it? So, that's, that's a sweep. That's uh, not. That's a 4-1. Sweep. 4-1. Gen gentleman year. sweep. Uh, next game, 2-7. That's Denver and San Antonio. That goes seven. five games. Seven. Wait. No, it goes six. Five games. It goes six. Denver and six. That goes five It games. goes six. That goes Denver, Denver, San Antonio, Denver, back at home, Denver. No, it goes Denver, 
Denver, Denver, San Antonio, San Antonio, San Antonio, Denver, San Antonio, San Antonio Denver, Denver, Denver. They are Denver. not getting a game in Denver. I'm yes, sorry. they are. No, they're not. You got to give credit to Pop. Dude, Pop gets his credit by even getting one game, okay? You forget how good DeMar DeRozan is and Aldridge. You know what? I'll go Nuggets and uh, Six. But you're saying that means they're going to close out San Antonio. Denver? Yes. Yeah. You think they're going to close out in San Antonio? Yeah. You know I feel what? like I feel like Denver. Change of heart, Denver and seven. Ooh, Denver and seven. I changed your mind. You didn't change your mind. Yes, I, I did. Mind. No. No. Cause you forgot they had DeRozan. You, said you forgot Denver. they had DeRozan. No, I didn't forget. And they had Aldridge. No, I didn't forget they had DeRozan or Aldridge. I just got thinking about it a little bit, and I said, you know what? Hey. Nothing that Connor said made me sway my decision. Denver's not winning in San Antonio. The bats are gonna come attacking. I don't know. That was supposed to be funny, but. Sorry, buddy. That wasn't very funny. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be funny. Yes, it was. That's, no. why, that's why you went silent, because you were waiting for me and Brian to laugh. No. That sucks. All right. Um, well, who's the three seed? Portland. Portland and OKC. Intriguing. OKC. Dude. OKC okay, and sex. Sounds, Portland and seven. As crazy as this sounds. OKC okay, sweep. <laughs> Dude, poor, did you not see what Portland did what, uh, to uh, New Orleans last year? Yeah. Do you know how, they were way better than New Orleans? No. And, and, but dude, they were better than New Orleans. Okay, how were they? Yeah. Were they the three? Yeah, they were the three. It's not like a black dude. Did you not see what they did last year against New they, Orleans? But New Orleans had the better player, and then Good OKC Lord. has the better player. OKC now. has the better player. Yeah. OKC has a, a possible MVP. I mean, he's not going to. Win. I don't think it's a sweep though. I'm saying five games. I think. I think OKC ooh. can win any game. In Portland. Portland and seven. That's going the distance. That's tough. That's OKC. OKC and five. I think OKC and six. OKC and five. I said. And then. Uh, ooh, this is this is this is a good one. This is a good one. Houston and six. That means they're closing out at home. No. No, that means they're closing out yeah. Home. Houston and seven. Houston and seven. Houston and seven. You go Houston and seven. I think it's early. I think it's gonna go. The, I think Chris Paul is the. Uh, is the deciding factor. the deciding factor. They can't guard him. I think they're going to close it out. Who guards Who guards Chris Paul? They're going to close it out. Who guards Chris six. Paul? What? Brian. Brian, stop. Why Brian, do this? dude. Okay, we, that's why we can't have serious conversations, buddy. You're picking the Clippers, too? No. Okay. Like Golden yeah. State in five. Brian said, Cl- Brian said Clippers. Hey, in, in five? Yes. That a boy. I got you, bro. All right. I got you, bro. Come on. Go to the east now. Goodness gracious. Milwaukee, Detroit. Uh, what? Detroit and get the brooms Detroit out. Detroit four. Get the brooms hey. out. Detroit and four. Milwaukee and four. Get, get the, the broom. brooms out. Get the broom. Okay. Oh no! You look. Every time Connor tries to be funny, something okay. happens. Give Ow! Give me, that. Give me that. Give me the broom. Dude. Okay. Give me that. That's brooms. That's, get the there's broom. consequences for that. Get the broom. There are no consequences. There are con- you just hit me with them. They didn't. You're lucky they didn't see it. There would have been an absolute riot. <laughs> for you hitting me with that broom. Did you hit me by hard? who? By who? By our fans, okay? Like two, you three literally of them? hit me with a broom, dude. I'm already injured. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, in your foot. What? Can, we, let's move on. Okay. Can Connor just not be a little pest? Okay? Then, I, yeah, just, we can just, move on. Just so easy to no. get under your skin. No, it's yes, just it you is. have to be annoying yes, 24-7. No. Just so easy to get under your skin. Golly, not one. Toronto, Orlando. Sweep. Toronto and four. Sweep. Uh, Philly and Brooklyn. Oh, I mean, we can. I mean, yeah. I don't. I think it's disgusting that the Magic are in the playoffs. That is yeah. How bad the East is. Blasphemous. That's it's something for sure. Dang. Um. Let's see. Who we got next? Philly, Brooklyn. Ooh. I like that series a little bit. I say Philly and six. I'm Ooh. I say Philly and six Philly as well. Philly and six. I think Brooklyn can get two games because if Joel Embiid. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's true. And Jared mm-hmm. Allen. Right? Jared, Jared Allen's Allen a stud. Is just a. Is just something to brush off. I mean. Then we got Boston and yeah. Indiana. Five. Five. Boston five. 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 <laughs> Indiana gets game three. No Boston and seven. And seven? That's going seven games? What is wrong with you guys? I think so. What is wrong with you guys? Are you tired? A little bit. Are you sleeping? You know, I get up in the morning and go lift. <laughs> Dude, I saw the two and a halfs on the, when you were benching. I peeked through the window and saw the little two and a halfs on each side. And you were struggling, too. He yeah. didn't spot it. Come on now. That's disgusting. Cody. We'll see Come you guys on. in a second. Get more this guy, he's, a little, he's a little boy. We'll see Come you guys on. in a minute.
Are you tired of constant fatigue and drowsiness? Do you suffer from chronic boredom and or lack of motivation? <laughs> then you're gonna want some fake news. Five out of four doctors recommend fake news as your daily dose of legitimate happiness. If you or a family member exhibit any of the aforementioned symptoms, talk to your doctor. Fake news might just be exactly what you need. I used to eat grass. Now I watch fake news. I used to break down in front of cameras crying. And now I found fake news. Warning. Side effects may include corneal combustion, sporadic oral bone growth, shark-like personality, supernatural powers, spontaneous apple treeification, profuse vomiting of the foot, amnesia, internal ear growth, loss of any or all senses, loss of your favorite limb, development of the ability to see dead people, death, gravitational anomalies, instant gratification, race change at random intervals, brain dumb, and freshman uprising. For more information, call 1-800-PI-19-DELTA-6693. I'm being paid to be here. <laughs> I don't like it. You were... You call me annoying. You are annoying. Oh. I didn't like it. I did not like mm. it. Hold on. Hold on. Give me that. You're just a little boy. Hey, dude. Chill. Oh, Chill out with that, please. If you're looking for a good book, or maybe a movie that you've been wanting to see, visit the Rose Hill City Library, located at 306 North Rose Hill Road, open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Thursday. It's closed on Friday and Sunday, but it is open on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Go visit today. Hi, we're your Channel 7 News team. Make sure to check us out on RHBN every other Friday. What do you say? Hi. Welcome back to Are You Serious? Why do you think I've got some wrestling sports for you today. Uh, track is at Wichita State today. They were there today and yesterday. Uh, golf's at Circle Monday, and baseball and softball are at Winfield on Monday. I thought Monday. I was going to switch over the camera. I didn't know. That's about it for me. Oh, that was bad. For in the, co in the comments. Put who would win in a fight, me or Kobe? We already saw who won an arm wrestle. When you started early. What did your mom say? What did your mom say? <laughs> excuses. No excuses. <laughs> she said no excuses. All right, Kobe, go first. I hit it last time. I don't need to go first. Okay. No show next Friday. Sorry. Who's going to go first? I don't know. That's, whoa. <laughs> don't break the camera with that, that one. one. That's easy. We got consistency going. Oh yeah? I'm gonna break that consistency. Well, you're not fair, you're straight on. So I actually hit the I, could, I, I, I could, could do that. No, I actually hit the lid this time. Oh, you uh, did? Okay. Sign 